Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of this car channel. My name is Daniel and this is my 350Z. The idea behind this car show is going to be modifications and maintenance for uh, people who daily their car. Um, it's not just a track car, it's not going to be a weekender, it's going to be the car drive every single day. So we're hoping that the mods are going to be realistic, they're not going to be like $5,000 big brake kits because you know as a student we just can't afford that. Um, we're going to be trying to see what little things we can do to make the car a little bit nicer for every day and increase a bit of performance without costing too much money. Um, and then someone who's never done them before as well, we're going to be trying to do them all individually. So I've owned many cars in the past. I've had a Subaru Forester GT, XR5 Turbo, R34 Skyline, Audi S3, um, two Honda Civics, and now I'm up back to my Nissan Roots um, in a rear-wheel drive 350Z. So a little bit about the car. Today we're working on a 2005 350Z DE non-rev up. Uh, it is the track edition, or I think for the Americans, it is the port performance pack. So we have the Brembo brakes through there, got the lower suspension, got the little lip, black leather interior, and six speed manual. So, about today's episode. Today we're gonna use the Oakwood complete leather pack uh, protection care. Um, it will include for us the liquid cleaner, the hydrating cream, the wipes, and the microfiber cloth. So hopefully everything we need will be in this handy little pack here. And we can get to see what these seats really are, were meant to look like from factory. I want to have a look and see what sort of condition we're currently dealing with. I'll just, oh, lights already on. A little bit hard, a little bit scratchy. Getting a little bit of cracking through it. Uh, if I come to the other side over here, previous owners did not seem to care too much about it. Got a little bit too much wear as I would, than I would like. Uh, it's not terrible. But it's just a little bit still hard. It's just not as soft and comfortable as what we're used to these days. Um, and inside it, it comes with hydrating cream, leather wipes, a soft cloth, and our liquid cleaner. Um, liquid cleaner is the first thing we need to do. First instruction is dust the area and apply cleaner with a soft, damp cloth. So, I have over here clean microfiber cloth, and we'll use that to wipe down. Just removed all the dirt and stuff and it's already looking shiny and clean and it's already looking much better than it was before we even started this thing so pretty impressed already keen to see how the next part goes Alrighty, so if we want to have a look at these seats now, we can see that while we still have these marks in over here, um, it didn't remove them like I was hoping it would, the actual condition of the chair is much better. It looks a lot newer. It looks like it's been taken care of. It looks like a premium leather product, not like a half blend of plastic or anything like that. And it is much softer now on the touch. It looks a lot better. It looks healthier um, being leather it is just a type of skin like anything else it needs to be taken care of which by the looks of it hadn't been done previously now if we just compare that to the other side over here while they don't look terrible you can definitely see the difference just in the shine um you compare them side by side it's just it looks much newer all right so we've already seen me do it once i'm gonna do it one more time in this chair here and we'll speed through it i won't give the run through and we'll see how it comes out i'm good
Alrighty guys, there we have it. So we've just finished cleaning and conditioning this leather seat and steering wheel for the car today. I'm hoping this video is going to help um, many of you indecisive people out there if they should or shouldn't do it. Um, or even if it's something you've just never even really considered, I'm hoping that this is going to give you a bit of insight and knowledge regarding that. My first time doing anything like this, I don't know if there's another way to do it. I don't know if I didn't let the, you know, the, the conditioner soak for too long. I don't know if I didn't buffer correctly. So yeah, please let me know. I'm happy to hear any suggestions you have for the future or any even any suggestions for different products as well. This is just something I picked up for Super Cheap Auto. So it's, you know, it's nothing special. It's just something off the shelf. So yeah, please let me know, um, comment in the comment section. I'd, I'd love to read them and see what you have to say. Yeah, hopefully I've helped someone decide out there today or even just to see how this can come up. Maybe it gives us a bit of insight what they were like in 2005, you know. No way of knowing now. Anyway, hope you have a good one. Enjoy. Thanks for watching.